Hello everyone and welcome to Train Simulator 2014. Yes, it's finally oh. here with Drifting Buffalo and Eddie the D. Oh dang, here we are again. Let's go. Here we are again with a brand new game, Train Simulator 2014, released today, 26th of October. I mean September 2013. <laughs> yes, I've already messed up. Congratulations to me. Anyway. Um, I figured we'd go over some of the basics to begin with. Yes, what's changed in this version Well, they spent this last year working on? Uh, one of the most notable changes so far, as you can see there, is a completely brand new menu system. Uh, briefly run through, we've got obviously a drive option. It will give you career, quick drive, tutorials, standard, free roam, anything like that. And even a resume button, so it looks like you may be able to pause mid-session, yes. perhaps. I'm not sure. Oh. That is useful. That would be quite useful, especially that with those long five-hour ones. Yes. Uh, yeah. you've, you've also got career option. Let's have a look what's in under here. Under here. Oh, yeah. Stats and things. Apparently, I have 42 medals already, but my driver level is zero. Oh. So, I'm assuming I'll collect them as I start playing. You would. Yeah. We'll find out what they are as we go in. Yeah, see if I can actually start to unlock something. Uh, collection. What's under collection? Oh, it, uh, it gives you a list of all the um, locomotives and routes that you currently have. Ooh. Nice. And looks like a market, even an in-game marketplace, which doesn't seem to be working at the minute. Ah, well, but maybe that'll be updated at some point. But yeah, it's, it's first day. Uh, engine driver, I think that takes you to their engine driver website, which is where they talk about it. Their blogs and stuff, yeah, yep. the engine driver website. Uh, builds page where you can create your own tracks, or you can copy a route and edit it, or something like that, and store, let's have a look. Oh yeah, this is their in-game marketplace. This seems to be working. All that DLC, oh my god. All that DLC. Lots of DLC. Anything else interesting? Oh, and settings up here. I'm not sure it's everything. Graphics, gameplay, audio, controls, all the standard ones. All the standard ones. So, I think we should jump right in and do some train okay. driving. Yeah, it's actually drive a train. Rather let's, than looking at all the menus for 20 minutes. Let's go to Korea. Yeah, well, okay. peop I have, haven't done loads of these. Some of these have done. Horseshoe Curve, career mode. We've done a lot of Horseshoe Curve. What's one of the ones you get to with these? You get... Uh, you get uh, Hamburg, Hanover. Yeah. London to Faversham and Dunna Pass. And currently, I don't actually have any of them because you get... Your Train Simulator 2013 gets a free upgrade to the 2014 software. So we'll go ahead and... Actually, I do have Donna Pass. I You've got that. Donna Pass, yeah. I was going to say, I'm sure you have one of those. I recognise the name. I wasn't sure which one. Yeah. But, well, yeah. okay, we'll go ahead and we'll just we'll do a free roam Donna Pass for a little bit. We'll go and explore. Awesome, and have a look at what it looks like. Mm. What changes they've made to the user interface when they're actually driving. Yeah. Donna Pass, cool. Pacific. Uh, where should we start? Co Coflex Depot? Donna Summit? Sparks Yard, Truckee Depot, or Roseville Yard? Roseville Yard. It sounds Roseville the nicest. Yard. Yeah, it, does. it sounds the nicest. Go. You can see if they've improved the uh, in-game loading times. Hopefully, because they were pretty bad. <laughs> it <is. laughs> took a long time. Yeah, oh, they've got some tips and things now on the screen as well. That's cool. Well, on the loading screens rather than just the adverts everywhere. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Always keep an eye on the AWS icon on your HUD. But anyway, um, I think they've made quite a few other changes as well, uh, like in the background type thing. Apparently there's now uh, more tutorials that teaches you how to drive the train better. Um, I think they've uh, done uh, various graphical improvements as well. So there'll be more objects in the distance and they'll look clearer that you can see stuff further away. And apparently they've put more people on the platforms. So yes! Maybe, <laughs> maybe... No! I hope they haven't got rid of her. I hope they haven't got rid of Brenda, no. Maybe, oh. maybe they'll keep some other ones on. Oh, I hope Brenda's still there. If she's gone... 
apparently this they've game got, is uh, not the same. <laughs> no, they've got better animations as well, and apparently they'll nice. react to the environment, such as it will be busier during peak times, and Yay. they'll put on raincoats when it's raining. What, what about the inside stuff? The inside, the, inside stuff. the trains. Are they, are they actually going to be moving, do you reckon? I or not? have no <laughs> idea. But anyway, it looks like we're at Rosevel Yard. Let's... Okay. Cool. Let's go and grab a train. Let's grab this train because it looks cool. Southern Pacific. And we'll go and explore the Donner Pass. Brakes off. Uh, release lever forward and off we go. Doesn't look like... Okay, I'm going the wrong way already. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I've got a massive frame rate drop. I nearly crashed, but... I'm still I'm still okay. What is up with my frame rate? Oh dear, oh dear. We well, seem to have crashed into the buffer stop because I went the wrong way. Uh uh uh, uh trains are falling from the sky. <laughs> what? Trains are falling from the sky. <laughs> what? <laughs> What what on earth just happened there? Sorry about this atrocious frame rate. <laughs> Trains are falling from the sky. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was um, interesting to say the least. Dear um, God. I think I might need to restart my game. <laughs> it seems to have crashed a little bit. Sounds like a good idea. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Okay, that was really, really <laughs> weird. I derailed because I hit the buffer. And then I looked around and all these trains are falling from the sky. Righty-ho.